Hello. SMS doesn't make much sense as an interpersonal communications means in 2023, but it still makes a lot of sense for system notifications. For example, for two-factor authentication via SMS, my grandmother isn't going to use uh, a mobile app for two-factor authentication, but she understands SMS. Or for verifying your identity. For example, some services like ChatGPT don't allow you to access uh, them until you verify your phone number. And it can sometimes be also used still for promotional messages or for important uh, uh, reminders like a doctor's uh, appointment. So in this episode, we are going to send the SMS using the Twilio API. And actually, it is a really great and easy to use uh, API that is also quite uh, cheap. So let's see how we can do it in the Ruby on Rails application. And now I am looking at the Twilio documentation. And we will first of all need to install this gem Twilio Ruby to be able to send a message. So uh, I'm going to go to my new Rails application that I have just created and say bundle add Twilio Ruby. And now I'm going to go to this application and here I will create a new folder inside app services and inside services I will have uh, Twilio and inside Twilio I will have uh, SMS service dot RB. Then I will create a module uh, Twilio class uh, SMS service and and to make it work as a service I will have a def initialize method and I have a def call uh, method okay let's go back to the Twilio documentation and uh, let's copy so we are going to have these two uh, keys Let's uh, put them here. It will be like uh, account seed and uh, auth. Yeah, we can actually just copy this. Twilio auth token. We're going to make them available all around our uh, small service. Then we are going to initialize uh, that Twilio client inside the call. And we're going to use the account seed and uh, token. Then uh, we are going to create a message and we're going to put uh, a result, the message uh, seed. It's kind of the Twilio ID of this uh, message. Okay, let's uh, see what do we need. We need the Twilio account seed, Twilio auth token, the from phone number and the to phone number for this all to work. And uh, we're going to have to put this Twilio auth seed and token somewhere and we need to get them from Twilio. So here I have just created a new Twilio account and you see I have some kind of balance uh, by default on my account and uh, as I keep sending SMS, the balance will be decreasing. And uh, you see I've got the account seed. Here it is. I will copy it and uh, I think I'll paste it here. Then I have the auth token. I'll paste it here. And I have the Twilio phone number. So it is going to be the default from phone number. So uh, Twilio uh, from phone will be this number and I will uh, send from this uh, phone number okay and uh, let's continue through this tutorial we need to go to next uh, uh, next okay so nothing important here but uh, you might not have this Twilio phone number by default uh, you will need to first possibly add the verified phone number so I will add the verified phone number by going to explore products phone numbers uh, so it is the one that uh, was granted to me by Twilio and uh, yeah I will need to add the verified phone number now uh, it can be done here I'll go and add a new caller ID it's gonna be my phone number I'll choose France let it be this number and uh, I must receive uh, an SMS that I would need to confirm. And uh, now in the sandbox environment, I'll be able to send the uh, SMS messages only to this uh, uh, phone number that uh, I make available in the sandbox. So here I received this phone number. I will copy it and paste it here. Okay, I have uh, confirmed the phone number and also I will need to update the messaging geographic permissions 
to allow uh, fronts. Okay, and now I think I'm all set up to be able to send uh, a phone number. Oh, an SMS. Let's go back here and let's try sending an um, SMS. So let's go back to the code. Here we have the two. The two will be the one that we are going to send to. It's going to be the kind of test phone number that I have just uh, verified. It's going to be this one. So let me also uh, copy it. So Twilio uh, test phone equals this one. And we're going to send this message to the Twilio test phone. Let's uh, see if it works. Now we don't actually need the initialize. We didn't put anything here yet. Anyway, let's try uh, calling this uh, service. I will go to the Rails console and I will say Twilio SMS service dot new dot call. And you see we have some kind of uh, SMS uh, ID. It is the message dot uh, that we just received. Let's see if I actually received a message. Here it is. So it happened just now, like less than a minute ago, and I received this test message on my phone number. So it all worked. Now um, to tidy up the service a bit, uh, uh, in the future, of course, you would want to send uh, messages not only to your test phone number, but uh, to real phone numbers. And uh, in the development mode, most likely you will want to send messages only to the test phone number. So uh, in initialize, you would have uh, a couple of things. You would have the uh, body or the text uh, of a message, and you would have uh, the phone number that you want to send to. So it would be two phone number. And I would say at uh, body, uh, yeah, equals body uh, at two phone number equals two phone number, and uh, I would have a conditional body here, so it would be body equals at body, and two will be. In the development, we're going to send only to the Twilio test phone, and in production, we're going to send to a real phone number. So let's uh, add a private method here, uh, private, and here we will have uh, something like uh, two, and here we're going to pass in a two phone number, and here I will say uh, uh, return uh, Twilio test phone. Uh, if rails dot environment dot development. Otherwise, we're going to return the normal phone number if it is production. Uh, okay, so uh, here we're going to send to to phone number, and we have a dynamic uh, body. So let's uh, try sending uh, consider considering this uh, conditional body and to phone number. We will call Twilio uh, SMS service dot new. We're going to pass in the body. Uh, hello, uh, Super Rails. Or oh, from Super Rails. And we are going to pass a two phone number. Yeah, let's actually make it like this. So we will need a body and two phone number. I will declare them like this. And two phone number will be. Uh, whatever. Let's try some kind of phone number like this. Uh, I will copy this. I will, yeah, I'll restart the console. Let me restart it once again. And try sending the SMS. And uh, yeah, I didn't call it. So dot call. Okay, I have an error to phone number. Uh, yeah, like this. I didn't have this two phone number available. So again, I will reload. I will uh, have this Twitter, oh, oh, Twitter SMS service where we have a body that can be conditional, a phone number that can be conditional, and call. And let's see if uh, it actually happens, okay? We seem to have actually sent an SMS, and here you see it is uh, saying 
hello from Super Rails. Now, as long as they're in the sandbox, it will always say send from your Twilio trial account. So anyway, that's basically it. We've created this kind of service that you can integrate into any controller action in your Ruby on Rails application. In the two phone number, you can be using something like uh, uh, user dot phone number. And uh, here it can be like any text that you would want to have. So by having this body and two phone number, we make this SMS service flexible to allow any text and any phone number. And uh, here we ensure that we are not going to send uh, um, real SMS to users in our development environment. And uh, one important thing you shouldn't <laughs> ever uh, expose phone numbers and uh, expose uh, uh, credentials like I did here. After this video, I'm going to clean them up, but uh, just never commit, never show anybody all these kinds of credentials. First of all, because uh, uh, you can uh, have uh, financial uh, expenses because of this. Like somebody can send a hundred SMS, a uh, hundred thousand SMS from your account and you will receive the bill. So uh, this should be kept in Rails credentials. I put it here just for sake of this uh, video. Okay, and let's go back to our Twilio uh, dashboard. Let's try to have a look at uh, the SMS that we have sent. So there must be some kind of SMS dashboard. So yeah, you see, I can actually see three recent messages. We can see some kind of message logs. Okay, let's go back, nothing interesting here. But yeah, we can see like a dashboard of messages that have been sent uh, and uh, we can possibly have a look at uh, an individual message. Yeah, so yeah, I see a message has been sent from this number to this number, the status is delivered. So looks quite good. So thanks for being with me and see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. We can actually even see the body of a message. That's also interesting. Okay, bye.